In this video, I would like to go over the basic concepts in using the move command. So I'm going to be moving into um, a few of the topics covered in the modify panel on the home tab in the ribbon. So I just have a simple uh, 12 inch by 12 inch square here. It happens to be made out of a polyline, so it's easy to uh, move. And then I just have a little uh, line here to show a 12 inch move and then a 24 inch. I'll be getting to that in a minute. So if we want to move something in AutoCAD, we can either pick move up here in the modify panel or we can type in move or M. So once you pick the command move, what you need to do is select the object or objects that you want to move. So I'll click on this square, this 12 by 12 inch square, but notice that the command line keeps saying select objects. That's because you can move multiple things at a time. So once you're done selecting, you need to hit enter. And that's going to be true of most of the commands in the modify tab that you have to tell CAD I'm done selecting. So once I hit enter, what I need to do is specify the base point. Okay, so I'm going to pick the spot on my object that I want to move it from, basically. So, you know, usually it's like a corner, a midpoint, a center point, or something like that. So I'm going to pick this lower left corner. Okay, so I'm going to click on that. And once I do that, I can actually just grab this and move it. I happen to have ortho on, so I can only go straight up or straight, you know, left and right, unless I wanted to snap to something. So if I turn that off just for a second, you can see that, you know, I could move this anywhere I wanted to and just click. So it's using move, selecting the object, hitting enter, picking the base point, and then moving it wherever I want it to go. Now, if I want to move this, I selected it, hit enter, I could actually move it from an endpoint to the other point on itself. That is an option. So I'll do that again. I'm just typing in M for move, selecting this square, hitting enter, picking this endpoint, and you'll see that I can actually snap it to a point on itself where it previously existed. So that is one way to move something. Okay. We can also do move, select it, hit enter pick a base point, and I could snap it to another object. For example, this line right here. And now this is moved exactly where I wanted it to be. Now why it's important to pick your base point wisely is because if, you know, let's say I had this object over here and I wanted to move it from this corner to this point, if I picked, you know, this midpoint on the bottom of the square, well now that's what it's going to snap to. That's why it's so important. So I'll pick move, move it from there to right here. I can also type in measurements to move something. So I can do move, select it, enter, pick my base point, and instead of just snapping it over, for example, to here, I could actually type in a specific distance. So I'm going to undo that or do control Z that's a very easy way to do it, or you enter for undo. I'll do move. I'll click this, enter, pick the base point. But this time, I'm just going to move my mouse the direction I want this to go. But then I'll type in 12, enter for 12 inches. To do that again, I'll just do move, select the square, hit enter, pick my base point, and this time maybe I'll say 24, enter for 24 inches. And when I did that, it moved it from this base point 24 inches. So the distance from here to here is 24 inches. If I want to move that in any direction, all I have to do, move, select, enter, choose the base point, and either snap where I want it to go or type in the measurements. 